Hey everybody, Dave and Jamie Womack here from Bird Tricks, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing what you can learn about your bird through its feathers. So in order to do this, you need to first understand how the feathers on your bird work. All birds molt out their feathers. Molting is an annual exchange of feathers, out with the old and in with the new, typically following breeding, breeding season. <laughs> breeding season, y'all. Breeding. Feathers are replaced year-round, as you might have noticed when a clipped feather magically becomes whole again, but the big molt will follow breeding season. As usual, nature has things well under control. So because both egg and feather production take so many nutrients from the hen's body, they won't usually occur at the same time so as not to be too depleting. There are many birds that line their nests with feathers molted after the eggs are laid and prior to hatching. It's a good system. As feathers regrow, they poke through the skin as prickly little stubs covered in a keratin sheath. These are known as pin feathers and are uncomfortable to the bird if they are bumped or pinched. Some birds get a little moody during this growth period. You will notice that there is a blood supply at the base of the new feather. This blood supply delivers the nutrients needed for the continued growth of that feather and recedes as soon as the feather is fully developed. During this time, a diet rich in vitamin A and calcium is a good way to help your bird with their feather production. Orange vegetables like sweet potato, carrots, and even scrambled eggs with the shell and all are good sources of calcium. Frequent bathing and misting will help keep the irritating itching to a minimum. We've had such a great response from our new feather therapy, aloe spray. If you haven't tried it already, it's basically nature's feather conditioner. Here's some of my favorite reviews from the 50 plus five star reviews on our aloe. My Quaker loved to take baths in the sink, and this was the perfect addition to relieve some of his itching during the winter months. My bird does not like to bathe. I tried normal spray bottle, and she would not have it. This is a fine mist, and she can tolerate it. It's been great. At first, I was just going to buy the aloe itself, but this bundle was definitely worth your money. Bird Trick spray bottle is a complete game changer. My green cheeks love the light mist of the spray, and also, I noticed immediately that once the aloe was sprayed on, my birds started to preen it into their feathers. It's like a conditioner for birds. I know some bird owners think that birds can drown from showering, but if anything, this spray bottle is more of a mist than a stream. The spray bottle alone is enough to get people to buy this bundle. It is seriously amazing, and my birds love it. Stress, injury, illness, and poor nutrition can interfere with or prevent your bird's molting process. Even when your bird is caring for her feathers, there are signs that will point you in the direction of a potential problem. Here are some of the most common feather problems we see and what they might mean for your bird's future health. Dry and brittle feathers. Feathers should be soft and pliable and should not feel coarse and dry. Dry feathers might indicate a humidity problem in the house. This will eventually result in dry and itchy skin, which can bring on plucking. It will also eventually dry out the nasal passages, which generally brings on an infection if not addressed. A humidifier will help, especially in the winter months, which are among the driest. Paired with our aloe, you can get this turned around in no time. Dull color is another one. If your bird's feathers look drab, it's often the result of a lack of sunlight. If you're unable to use an outdoor aviary for your bird, the lack of vitamin D3 will eventually become a health issue. Vitamin D3 is necessary to the absorption of calcium in the diet, and calcium is crucially important to your bird. Next is discolorations. Feather discolorations, such as black tips on feathers or the appearance of feathers that are not part of your normal coloration of your parrot species, such as yellow feathers on an eclectus where there should be green or red feathers, are a problem that almost always are dietary in nature. This will tell you that you have work to do on your bird's diet and you cannot put it off. Dietary issues affect the liver and feather discolorations are an indication that the problem has been ongoing. Your vet can diagnose the condition of the liver and prescribe supportive care while you work on improving the diet. If you don't already know about it, check out our seasonal feeding system, which is great for all species of parrots, including the eclectus in particular. Next is stress bars. These are bands of either discolored or depigmented segments or structurally weakened lines that run crosswise through the feathers. In very young birds, they are generally caused by temperature or other environmental fluctuations during the production of their first set of feathers. And as long as the bird is properly cared for, future feathers will grow in normally. 
In older birds, it reflects a more serious problem as it indicates that there are inadequacies in the bird's care. It almost always suggests a dietary issue, but it can also be a result of a period of emotional stress. So since stress bars occur during the formation of the feather, look back around the time of your bird's last molt to find the cause. Antibiotics will sometimes be responsible. Next is damaged feathers that are not related to feather plucking or barbering. When you find feathers that are damaged, it is sometimes a result of a fall and it should be an infrequent discovery. If you find damaged feathers often, take a look at your bird's feet to be sure the grip is appropriate and that there's no foot or leg injuries and no pressure sores on the feet. Watch your bird to make sure he's stable while perched. Try to determine if your bird is experiencing night frights, which might cause feather damage and arrange the cage to minimize any contact with things in the cage during a panic moment or in a fall. If a single area of feathering seems disrupted, but not the result of plucking, you might find that there's a toy or even the cage bars that are rubbing against your bird while they're perched in a favorite spot. Dark feathers. Now this one might mean there's excess fat in the blood. It is, again, almost certainly the result of poor diet, but this indicates the problem is becoming serious and you should see your vet right away to determine the cause of this discoloration. Then we are brought to oily feathers. I have never known feathers that are oily in appearance to indicate anything other than advanced liver problems. The liver is a regenerative organ. However, areas that are scarred and damaged by disease are beyond repair. When there is more tissue in that condition than healthy tissue, well, your vet cannot work miracles, but he can help you by providing supportive care to increase your bird's chances. So that brings us around back to molting. Old feathers that need replacement get molted out. That is the natural process. However, when you have experienced any of the above topics that we brought up, molting periods take on a heightened level of importance. The appearance of healthy new feathers tells you that you're on the right track with your bird or it tells you that there is more work yet to be done. I hope these tidbits of insight on your bird's feather care helped you. One thing I do is I keep molted feathers so that when I go into my bird's annual vet exam, I can take my feathers with me that might have me questioning something. Your vet should be eager to educate you because when we know better, we do better. I'll leave a link below to our Feather Therapy Aloe Bundle, which includes our spray bottle and aloe, which you can then purchase refills for. Why do we include a spray bottle with our aloe? We want your bird to love it as much as we do. And since a lot of birds have had a horrible experience with your typical spray bottle, we wanted to provide bird owners with a spray bottle that could act as a fresh start. Our spray bottle is quiet. It gives off a very light mist and it doesn't look anything like the evil bottle that was likely used as punishment from that previous owner of your bird. It's also a continuous sprayer. So if you have a bird who loves to get soaked, your hand won't fall off from exhaustion while using it. I'll be linking to my bathing birds playlist so you guys have the best chance at training your bird to love bathing with our aloe. Here's to a less itchy molting season. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh yeah. We should try saying it at the same time. Ready? Nailed it. <laughs> try it real quick. <laughs>